Good evening. College students are starting to head back to campus, but you better believe in 2020 with a pandemic, it sure is looking a lot different this year. Dorms, classrooms, and all sports are changing or at a risk of not happening at all. And tonight we'll have more team coverage on the changes taking place. Texas A&M University is welcoming students to campus all week as they have changed the way students move. In amid the pandemic, 25 News reporter Hallie Jones joins us with more. Move-in day here at Texas A&M looks a lot different this year as the 11,000 students living on campus for the school year are moving in by appointment only. For incoming freshmen, move-in day is one step closer to their first year of college during the coronavirus pandemic. I was really nervous that we might not be able to move in with the whole thing. For Jace McGovern, he selected his dorm room back in March at the start of the pandemic. Texas A&M Housing and Dining then making the decision to change move-in day to a week. We had to all log on to our Howdy portal and pick a move-in day and time from the 8th to the 16th. Uh, just so it was more spaced out and not as many people were all kind of coexisting in the same place at one time. The university says while they did not make any changes to dorm assignments, they have changed their common areas, providing hand sanitizing stations and increasing the amount of times they disinfect. Custodial and, uh, will do um, cleaning of the common touch points two times a day. While the university has sanitizing stations throughout campus, students receive some PPE when they check in. Students got a bag as they checked in called a COVID health bag. So a mask uh, says howdy on it, so it looks like a smile, um, hand sanitizer and some wipes and a thermometer um, to check your temperature. The university also has plans in place for students living on campus who do contract the virus, along with those who may be considered a close contact. We have some um, rooms set aside um, for people to be able to move to that have setups where they can have a dedicated bathroom. Students were also told to have a COVID bag ready in case they do contract the virus. Which is a pre-packed bag with Advil, a change of clothes, a phone charger, in case that we do become infected. Uh, that they can just go into our dorm room, grab the bag, so we don't necessarily have to go back in and contaminate more stuff. The university says that their residence halls are about 95% capacity, and which should allow for room if a student contracts COVID-19. Reporting from Texas A&M University, Hallie Jones, 25 News. Hallie, thank you. Now, nationally, it is estimated that just over a third of college students will attend in-person classes if given the option. Another 16% will come back to campus, but will still study virtually. About 30% won't return to campus at all, going to school online from home. 